when you lose a game of football, you're always disappointed. You're always gonna be annoyed or, or whatever. Me personally, I always try to stay as positive as possible. And I try to look at the good things that came out of the game. But yesterday's defeat, for me, was more disappointing in terms of the performance that we put in rather than the actual result at the end of the game. I just felt that there was nothing. You know, it's as simple as that. I just felt that we offered nothing. Most people will um, call out individual players. They'll, they'll, they'll pick a player and it'll be their fault or, or whatever. whatever. Oh. I try to avoid doing that because, you know, I'm a great believer in supporting the, the team and, and supporting the players and, and, you know, everyone's has a bad day or whatever and everyone's, you know, they're all human, you know. So I'm not going to call out <coughs> an individual player and make it all about them. But it can't be avoided, the fact that a lot of the players yesterday were off the pace. You know, Delhi really didn't offer anything. He was running into brick walls every turn. Some sloppy passing from him. Um, Ericsson was uh, was looking busy, but without actually creating anything really good. And again, lots of stray balls. His free kick was, you know, I don't know what's going on there with his free kick. It's been called out about it a few times. Um, Sonny, who's who's always plays with such passion and and endeavour, really didn't offer that much yesterday. Um, yeah, again, lots of running around, but no end products, no no killer passes, or there was no opportunity for him to get get behind them. And I think the one time he did, he got caught up. Um, so again, disappointing from him. The only player for me who I felt really gave any kind of uh, passion and drive to the game, once again, was Danny Rose. I love that guy. He is, he is a driving force in the team. He gives 110% every game. So, I, I, you know, I will always stand up and say, Danny Rose, you've done a bloody good job there, I, you know. But everybody else in the team, I, I don't think anyone can kind of come away from that being happy with their performance. You know, I thought um, Wayne Foyth looked really um, secure on the ball, um, did a few turns and stuff like that, and uh, managed to, to keep hold of the ball and everything. So some nice um, touches from him and that, but, but nothing really, you know, nothing to hang your hat on, if you know what I mean. Um, so. Yeah, hugely, hugely disappointing. And of course, what that does is it, it gives encouragement um, to the scum, to the chavs, depending on their results today, um, will put a little bit of pressure on us um, for a top four. It is still in our hands, you know. We've, we've got Bournemouth away, and we've got Everton to play, and, you know, Everton are going well. Um, so it's not always going to be easy to maintain that. But whilst it's still in your hands, you've got to think to yourself, well, you know, you've got to be confident, you know. Let's get the Tuesday game against Ajax played and see where we are after that. Maybe that's one of the reasons why, you know, the team were, were holding back maybe or add one eye on, on Tuesday's game, which, by the way, is not gonna be an easy game. You know, all those people calling out that Ajax was a, was a good option sort of going forward, um, you know, look again, you know, they're a really good young team um, looking to achieve something, um, and fair play to them, you know, they play good football. So, that's not gonna be an easy game. Um, so, 
by Tuesday night we'll know whether we're marching on or whether we're going to struggle and whether we need to really focus on uh, winning the winning games to get into the top four you know because at this point nothing's guaranteed but what can you do right we're Tottenham fans we love our team we always have we always will win lose or draw we'll be loyal till the end um, so as I say very disappointing but it ain't over yet the fat lady isn't quite singing yet and West Ham fans can uh, enjoy their day, enjoy their cup final, knowing it's took them from 11th to 11th. Um, so, we march on, up the Spurs. Fire. 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 Fire.